is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, guys? It's Lax Rocks Topher bringing you week five of Mile Nine Dynasty. Two new recruits for you guys Joey Rivers and Corey Mays. Uh, three star and two star. This week, I got my first Pac 12 game. I'm playing OU Fan and his one and two Colorado Buffs. And my, it's obviously me, Lax Rocks Topher, is Washington State. Looking to go 4-0 on the very on the second play of the game, uh, Tool finds Wilson deep, takes in the end zone. That's the way to come in away, start out Pac-12 season. On the next possession, Hanson trying to do something with it, but he finds the wrong guy. He finds the Washington State linebacker who gets a pretty good interception return down to about the 25. On the second play of this series as well, Tool rolls out to his left, and he hits Car Setter who just looks like it crosses over, but the ref says, no, you aren't over. They try. They get the fake handoff and the pitch. Stuffed. Handoff to Mitts. Stuffed. So they say, why not just go it up the middle with Tool? Easy 7. Putting it up. 14-0. Wash Zoo early. But Colorado's not going to lay down and die. But they are going to get sacked here. And they're going to get sacked here as well. And while we're at it, why don't they just get sacked here a third time? <laughs> But then Washington State gets the next possession, takes it down, gets a field goal, putting them up 17-0 away in Boulder. Uh, Colorado looking for a guy deep. They find Clemens, their star wide out deep. He gets a really good play on that. Looks for a guy over the middle, but all he can find is the star DB, Dion Buchanan. That won't be his last one today, gentlemen and ladies. Tool rolls out, hits car setter again, but he gets hit, feels it for a little bit, had to come back a little bit later. Mizzle. Mizell can't quite chase down the tight end as he gets a big carry on that one. And then here we go, sack number four. Tool rolls back. He's looking, he's looking. He finds Barton for a big game, putting them in field goal position. And all it comes out to be is a field goal. And But that's 20-0 away for Wazoo as they pick up another sack. Uh, Hanson looking to do something with it before halftime. The only thing he can find... Dion Buchanan again, second interception of the day. And then, obviously, early in the third, nothing happened at the end of the second. Mitz gets a pretty good carry, getting them to about field goal range. But Tool says that's not good enough as he hits Barton again, who looks like he jukes in. He gets in. Wazoo up 27-0, but a bomb threat in the stadium makes it to where all fans must leave. So as they're resetting the score... Uh, let's just pretend this is how Colorado ends up getting seven, but the refs decide since it was a wazoo bomb threat that they would just put seven points on the board. But here you go. Colorado looking for the real actual touchdown, almost find the opposite team in the end zone, but they end up finding the right guy on the second go. Tight end, first real score for Colorado, but nonetheless, it's 27-14. Colorado making a comeback from being down 27 zip. But Air has a nice response to that, taking his third Kick return of the year, his second 90 plus, two of the house saying, You might score, but we'll score more. Backup quarterback in now, trying to make something happen. He finds his wideout, no one knows how. Big day for Clemens, puts them in field goal range, but this sack starting to push them towards the outskirts of it. Uh, they find this running back, Stewart, who makes a nice juke to the inside, takes in the end zone, and says, We're going to keep going until this clock hits double zeros. But Jeff Toole says, well, I'm going to keep throwing the ball till the ball or till the clock hits double zeros. He just finds receivers for days on his next possession. And then it ends up leading to a fake field goal. Lobenstall, the backup, ends up throwing the pick, trying to keep the clock killed. Too greedy to go for three, but it doesn't matter. They get a sack, forcing a third and ten for Colorado. Ooh, the guy gets nailed. But it doesn't matter because the backup comes back and he hits another guy on a deep pass route. This time they get in the field goal range. Watch out, Wazoo. Colorado is not going down without a fight in this one. Just like Idaho Northwestern, the backup for Colorado trying to make something happen out of nothing. He's not as lucky. He gets sacked. Hansen's back in now looking for a big play. Dion Buchanan drops his possible third pick of the game on 4th and 20, but Mitts on the very next play takes it up the middle while Wazoo's trying to run out the clock. It doesn't matter. He takes it all the way to the house, putting Wazoo up 41-21. That pretty much seals the deal for Washington State, but Colorado gives it one last shot to make it respectable. Don't quite get in. Clock hits double zeros. Washington State, after a bye week in week 4, 
comes into conference, their very first user to user conference play, and they show up that they are here to not only win the Pac-10 North, but they are here to win it all. 41-21, Washington State on the road, Pac-12 opener, wasn't even, well, it was close towards the end. Beginning, Colorado hit their groove late, just a little too late. 4-0, great start to the Cougars as one of the coaching goals was to hit four wins. They've already hit that in their first four games of the season. Looks promising for Washington State and Coach Lashrock's Topher there in the middle, meeting Coach OU Fan 74. Colorado upset, but you guys do not be surprised if you see Colorado make a run late. The longer that game went on, the more their offense and defense started clicking. Uh... After the random stoppage in the third and the reset because of the bomb threat and everything, it ended up being a good game. Good sportsmanship to coach OU74. But either way, Wazoo comes out with the win. That's all we're worried about, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to comment and rate, thumbs up this video. Add me on Facebook. Can't give you a link till there's 15 likes. I'm at like 6. Follow me on Twitter so you guys can get more up-to-date stuff. And don't forget to subscribe. This is Lax Rocks Topher. Keep gaming.